I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily to do these love readings for you, any and all signs. All of you are welcome. Please do smash the like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay. Let's get into this. Hey guys, so we're going to take a look at the month of November. We're going to do a Celtic cross reading and see what the collective, what you have in store for you in November. So you've got the Ten of Swords overall, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. So it looks like after some type of an ending, it looks like there are some light bulb moments happening. Um, there is some passion and fiery energy involving um, a water sign. Okay, that looks like an overall message. So let's take a look at your past energies. Okay, looks like isolation or a sense of just being self-reflective, being on your own. It looks like thinking a lot about communication or past communication. Um, not really having a lot of communication, actually responding, someone going silent, still being in silent mode at this time. Um, maybe there's silent treatment or not any communication at this time with someone. doesn't look like you're talking to anyone. looks like you're just kind of on some R&R. &R. Maybe you're praying or you're in meditation or doing meditative practices. It looks like you're just not communicating. Your challenge right now is to get moving. Um, no, you're pretty much being passive. You're just, you're not pushing anything forward. You're not going forward. You're not going backwards. You're not making lateral moves. You're just pretty much staying right where you are right now. Okay. So what's driving you? <laughs> really, like, I don't see you being driven. You want to be driven. Queen, uh, the Queen of Wands. You might have somebody around you who's trying to push you to motivate you, but it doesn't look like you're motivated to do anything right now. Um, I kind of feel like you... You might be, like, thinking about motivation. <laughs> that might be the extent of it. But, like, this Queen of Wands is generally pretty motivated. Queen of Wands is, like always has a lot of get up and go tons of energy fire signs are always very passionate and active um something's going on here where you are not you are in november pretty much or at least currently which is the start of november you are pretty much like no not moving not wanting to do anything not saying anything not chasing not running just like everybody leave me alone i'm sleeping <laughs> I just don't know. You just kind of taken some rest from all the BS. Maybe you're on vacation. Yeah. Um, your thought process is, yeah, you get the death card. So it's like, I don't know if you're going through some kind of transformation or change. Your thought process is just pretty much like it's done. You're done with something here. Okay. Maybe you're done with a fire sign. Maybe you're done with a water sign. You're just, nope. Keep it moving. Keep Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Yeah, you're not doing nothing. You don't want to do nothing. You don't want to be involved, it looks like. You're just... I don't know. What's going on? I hope you're not depressed or anything. Yeah, I hope you're not going... Well, you know, you don't have the Five of Cups or anything, so that's good. I don't feel like you're depressed. I mean, honestly, like it looks more like you're just recovering. You're resting. Okay, what's coming up for you in the near future? Yeah, you've got... You know you got new opportunity coming up for you, right? Whether that's career, anything in life, you know the blessings are coming for you and you're not chasing them. You're letting them come to you. And I feel like that's probably where you're at right now. I kind of feel like your your energy is like, you chased before, didn't work. Hmm. So maybe you're trying a different, maybe you're doing it differently this time. It just kind of feels to me like you're just going to wait for the opportunity to come to you. If it comes to you, it comes to you. If not, you're staying right where you are. Yeah. Yeah. What's your advice here? 
<laughs> just let it come to you. You've put your energy out there. Look, three of wands. You've put your energy out there. What comes back for me comes back for me. What doesn't wasn't meant for me. Yeah. I, I feel like you don't need a reading. I feel like you already know what you need to do, where you need to go, what your purpose, what your plan is. Um, seems to me like... You don't need to be pushed. You don't need anyone to... You might have people around you who are saying, come on, let's just go. Let's go. You got to do something. got to do something. And you're kind of like, no, I don't. I don't have to do anything. People might be telling you, you need to go here. You need to go there. You need to get in a relationship or you need to get out of a relationship. Like everybody's trying to tell you what to do, perhaps, or giving you advice. Or you need to be married by now. Or you need to have kids by now. Or you need to be... How come you're not like here? Everybody has expectations or putting you on a certain place they got you on a path already where based on your age or where you are in life and you're just like no i don't think so i move at my own pace which is what the knight of pentacles does moves at their own pace what <clears throat> what comes down the line for me is what's meant for me that's the path that i'm supposed to go on so you look good you could be a water sign you could be a fire sign yeah um whatever the situation is you just don't, yeah, you just don't give a, that's what I think is going on here. Um, you've put your energy out there. What returns, you know, you, you've, you flung your boomerangs. If they come back, <laughs> they come back. If they don't, they don't. Okay. So let's see what's going on externally to you. Yeah. You've got justice and you've got the high priestess. So Universe knows, and they're going to give back to you what's fair and what's meant for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Eight of Swords. You might have a, you might have a Pisces, Cancer, or a Libra around you, but love is definitely going to be returned to you for sure. If you're looking for love, if that's your thing, if you want, if you're looking for a new beginning in love, it will come for sure. Um, It's being held back from you right now because it's not time. So if you're kind of like, what's if, if you're questioning it, it's just a timing thing, but it, it, it's, it's restricted. It's being held back right now because it's not time yet for you. And that's all. And, and there's this, there's a time and a season for things. You know, if you had love before, that was the time and the season for that. And if that's over, it, it, there's always a rest period. You know, the seasons change, there's that transition period, and then there's the new season comes again. And so that will come around again for you. Yeah, absolutely. When? Possibly in the spring. I know that's a while to go, but that's a new beginning here with the Ace of Cups. Could it be sooner? Of course. You could have a Libra or a Pisces who is, um, if you're dealing with those two people, they're tremendously restricted right now. They're, they, they, they don't seem to be able to, they might be, one of them's going to prison. They just said one of them is possibly going to prison, but they might get a lucky break. Okay, I just heard that. That's strange. I'm not trying to get too predictive. I'm trying to keep it really general for you guys. Um, yeah, I just feel like you you aren't really gold rushing anything here. Um, your, your overall thing is just about self-love right now, unconditional love for self. I just feel like that's your goal. I don't really feel like you're trying to, you're trying to transition away from something, maybe a past thing for sure. You might have been in some kind of a relationship that ended we had a wake-up call about that past relationship that it was just all passion or strictly passion or intimacy there was really wasn't anything else you're not really trying to push anything else forward um yeah i mean it's very straightforward so i feel like it's going to be kind of a short message okay the outcome look at that What the hell's the outcome? What the heck's going on? After all that, something trips you up. Why? Why is this energy like that? Oh, 
you got a connection. You make a connection with someone, you, but mm, who is this person? You do a, oh gosh, you make a connection with someone, but I don't know about this. I mean, it's not that I don't know about it. I'm, your energy is you don't know about this connection. It almost feels too good to be true. And you're questioning it. Don't question it. Because you're like, I feel like somebody tries to kind of have a reconciliation kind of thing with you here with the six. It could be an air sign. Yeah, there it's coming in with some kind of a reunion, wants to reunite with you, but you don't really, you're not too sure. They want to try and um, recover, bring something into balance here, or try to like bring harmony back to, like peace and harmony back to a situation. I, I don't know, you, you don't trust it. And I'm, I'm saying, I don't want to say, yeah, I don't feel like you shouldn't not trust it. Like, I feel like it's okay to make peace but there is a possibility that they want to come in and try to have a love thing here with you but there's something here because you got the five of pen uh, five of cups and that's a little bit of grief remember i said i didn't see that here at first so i wasn't sure but now i do see it okay so there might be like suppression of some kind of um, emotional thing from the past. You had a light bulb moment. You had a wake up call about some kind of ending in the past. But you might not have really dealt with your feelings in regards to that. You might have suppressed them and you just have been telling everyone to just leave you alone. You don't want to deal with anybody or anything. Something comes up. This person comes back or somebody reaches back out and it kind of triggers your emotions again. Or it triggers them and now you got to deal with them. And you got like the cups, you get the pentacles, you get the wands. Everything comes up. Everything comes up. And this person's coming in. They're trying to be charitable. They're trying to make peace. They, you know, they're trying to be friendly and supportive. But I don't think you don't trust. I don't think you, you know, like you may not want to. You have kind of, you may not just be ready to talk to them. Yeah, that's what I feel like the overall message is. For some of you, this could be a lover. It could be a family member. It could be a parent, a friend, a colleague, something. If, if there was some kind of ten, of ten of Wands or Ten of Swords energy, it might have been like a betrayal of any kind. Emotional. They could have stolen. They could have cheated. Something could have happened, you know, um, where and it happened really quick or, or this person was just in and out of your life and they just didn't treat you very well and they made a lot of promises or someone who kind of you didn't feel like you could really trust i mean <clears throat> and there was a lot of exciting communication with this person but then something must have happened like they just disappeared they might have just came out of the blue and made a lot of promises and a lot of the okie doke and got you really excited about something but i don't know something happened like it, it was kind of a letdown yeah, there's definitely a reconciliation with this person. I don't know if they're trying to make amends. They've had like a wake-up call of some sort, but you're having one too. And I'm not so sure that you really want to. Um, it's not that you don't want to, and it's not that you do want to. It's just a whole lot of him and hawing and thinking about it. Like there's grief here, and there's like, should I invest or should I not? You know, should I put up? My, should I make my boundaries stronger or not with this person? I don't know. You know, you did have this love energy coming in, so that's on the table. Okay, yeah, there's somebody coming in here with a lot of regret. Perhaps how they treated you or th there's remorse. You know, there may be abandonment or something like that. I mean, yeah, you've got reflect here. So this is definitely, like, you have been kind of on your own. You know, a lot is going on. You need some alone time. You've been telling people that you know you're on, you're taking a break or you just like now nah, I can't you're working and you're just trying to recharge I feel like you're just trying to like get yourself like in a better place so, but I don't know are you running away or are you just trying not to deal with the pain of some kind of 
betrayal that you had in the past it very well could be but I do see somebody coming in here and re-triggering that and then now it's going to bring it to the surface so now you're going to have to deal with it and you might not want to or you might you don't have to you don't have to you can turn it around and say nah I don't want to you can do that you're, you're in charge of you you're in charge of you. You don't have to do anything. Yeah, so I'm going to leave that there, short and sweet. I hope you like the short that I left earlier for you. I'm going to try and jumble it up a little bit. So I'll be back here tomorrow with your week and reading. So definitely keep an eye on that. And if you have a Virgo placement anywhere in your chart, go over to my other channel, House of Virgo, where you can get daily readings over there as well. You don't have to be a Virgo sun. You could be Virgo moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart anywhere and I also have a new uh, Christmas deck that I'm going to be using in December so I've put up a video I'll be putting it up on this channel as well so you'll be able to see it you guys and um, I should I, I think I'm going to be doing the live streams again like I used to here on I think Saturdays I'll let you guys know when I'll be doing them um, for the Q&A readings so keep your eyes peeled for that yeah and have a good one I'll see you all back here tomorrow take care bye you said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pain